We think in our case that we can maintain the 50 or 60 cows that we have and do that year in and year out with, with minimal resources coming from outside. We're here at our, our farm where we raise shorthorn cattle in Perry County. Susie and I are the owners of this property and the managers and the labor force. So it pretty much, if, if it gets done, we do it. We're on a reclaimed uh, ground from a silica mine years ago. And so this is reclaimed much like uh, strip mining for coal where the topsoil and subsoil has been removed and then put back after mining. It took about 20 feet of rock out of here. We're on about 215 acres and we raise shorthorn cattle, uh, purebred shorthorn cattle. And uh, we have about 60 cows that we, we sell them breeding stock. We sell uh, show calves particularly shorthorn steers from this operation. We are the first owners of this as a farm. We bought it from the mining company. And one of the challenges we've had is, is erosion. And when we got here, there was a lot of erosion that already happened. Because once the, the water will break through the topsoil, uh, then, then the rest of it below that is just gonna go. So part of our thinking was, let's, let's improve the quality of the grasses the best we can. Let's make the root system better to slow the water down, to, to stop erosion. That's been our major focus. So we, we get a lot of water here, as, as everybody does in Ohio, and to control it is a challenge. So we started working with uh, FSA, soil and water, uh, the equip programs to understand really what we needed to do. We weren't necessarily experts in that, we just knew there were things that needed to be done. And so we worked with them to put plans together to come up with uh, a programmed approach to kind of fixing the farm, if you will. I've been uh, working with the Turners um, for five years. Um, they, they have been working with NRCS in, here in Perry County for since 2008. We started with fencing to begin with, then we went to more intensive fencing, so we had rotational grazing. Uh, we've got about 31 paddocks here that we move them through. And so just improving the soil quality there was one part of it. With that came the need for the component of water. We have a, a pipeline that runs the length of the farm that we have automatic waters and that we can feed multiple paddocks from. Uh, and then we put in some springs. We were able to develop springs and then drain those to a uh, stock tank. A few years ago with the weather changes, the, such intense wetness in the spring, uh, it became a real challenge to feed cattle. Uh, they're out on the pasture virtually 365 days a year and we unroll large hay bales. And the ground was so soft that we were tearing up the soils. So we had to devise a plan almost every day on how we we're gonna feed the cows. We were literally feeding them on the road that runs through the farm for a few days. And we decided at that point we would build a hay storage and feeding facility so that all our hay was stored inside and then we could move hay up to the feeding slats and keep the cows off of the paddocks uh, and not destroy the soil. Our, our cows here and part of our selection within this breed has been cows are easy fleshing, can take care of themselves, rebreed, have calf unassisted, etc. And part of that is, is we, our cows are out 360 days a year. They may be in the barn for a day or two if they calf but then they're back out here. So the better conservation we do, uh, then the more production we get from our grasses, the more productivity we get from the soil that we have. So the better we job we do, the more grass we produce, the more cows we can keep, or the cows are in better shape, the calves grow faster. So, so in a way, it, it stems from trying to produce better beef cattle. And so how do we do that? Well, we're all, all beef cattle people are in the business of selling grass, really. So the better job we do, in this soil and managing the grasses we have, the better job we're gonna do with cattle. So it all ties together in a very neat package. One of my challenges that I have with a lot of producers, with, with, with some producers is following through on completing conservation practices. With the Turners, they, they've always been very willing to follow through on practices and, and, and getting stuff done in a timely fashion. But we're nearing the end, we hope, of major projects, and we hope now that we can just sustain what we've done, uh, maintain it, keep, keep a good focus on uh, managing the paddocks, managing the woodlands, managing the ponds to meet the standards of environmental stewardship.